In this video, we're going to map a Cisco 3750 switch and demonstrate how that is done. First of all, we have the switch IP address over here. We have the settings for it. We're using version 2C, bulk rep set at 32, which means we get up to 32 records with a single SNMP query. And then down here, we have a ping sweep range of our local subnet. So we're going to go ahead and map the switch now. First thing you'll see is interface index appearing on the right. These correspond to the physical interfaces and other things on the switch. Then you'll see interface descriptions, names, aliases if there were some, the type of interface we have, the VLAN, and if we have a voice VLAN it appears here. We can only do voice VLAN for Cisco at the moment. The next thing is the status of the port, that can be up or down, the speed of the port, and a duplex mode. Here you'll see MAC addresses, in this case this is the MAC address and IP address of an extreme network switch. Over here is a Cisco switch, and this is a Zyxel switch. This is upstream devices. This is the port we're actually coming in on, but it reflects back upstream devices. We also see host names if they exist. And by the interface manufacturer, you can see what type of device you're actually looking at. Right here, you'll see LLDP and CDP. In this case, we have a Cisco 3550 switch, and it tells us the switch right here, and we're plugged into port 10 on the switch. Right here, we have another switch from Zyxel, if I'm saying that correctly, and it's a GS1900, and we're plugged into port 6, and its IP address is shown right here as port as, uh, 45, and it, that comes in both ways from the LLDP and from the combined ARP table. Right here's an interesting situation. We have a small business solutions, uh, Cisco. It's a little eight port switch, and it has us plugged into port six right here, and you can see from the capabilities that it's a switch. The system name is shown right here. Over here you'll see the last time change of the port. Right here is a report about the switch. I'm going to squish it up a bit so we can see it easier. Now, right here is information about the switch itself, serial number, model number, etc., how long it's been up. More information about the actual uh, interfaces right here. And then the unused ports report, which tells us which ports are not used. And then down here you see the used ports report and spanning tree information. And then down here you'll see how well we did with retrieving ARP information from the various sources. We did not use server router one or two, but we mostly relied on our local ARP table of this computer and ping sweep. These are the timings, and this is where your SQLite database is actually kept. That's how you map a Cisco 3750 switch using the Managed Switch Port Mapping Tool.